Okay. I need to find 11 feet from that wall. again. 11 feet. All I need is a little patience. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Trying to go beyond the reach of your tape measure, even though this is a nice one inch wide tape. Can't go out that far, 11 feet. And I gotta find 11 feet here to get into the right spot to cut in a receptacle box. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better tool. Actually, there is. Let me show you this new meter from Sigmund. Stick around and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, back up on the ladder for me with the correct tool in my hand now. This is the Sigmund CD-60 laser distance meter, bilateral distance meter. So I'll get into the finer details and show you how to use it and all the features and functions of it. But right now I need to get this measurement. So we're going to turn it on. Then we are going to select the proper benchmark. So we need to go to the benchmark being left oriented and to the back of the meter. I could go to the front of the meter, but we're going to go to the back right now just for simplicity and then press and hold for continuous distance measurement. And now I can slide the meter back and forth and go to where I need to be. There's 11, two, 11 foot one and bang 11 feet. Make my mark and I'm done. It's just that easy. So having a tape measure is one of the most important tools in any DIYers toolbox, but they certainly have their limitations. And man, these have really replaced just about all the functions that these can provide. Like for example, if you're in a room and trying to measure wall to wall or any kind of a box that you might be measuring inside of and you're trying to curl that tape measure into the corner, and trying to guess where it would even out if you could fold that tape measure into a 90 degree square to get that exact measurement. So those are the limitations that something like, like this totally eliminates. So I'm not gonna do the typical format of a review video where they tell you how to take the tape off and unbox a, a product that you just received in the mail from, from Amazon. I'm gonna just show you that it comes in a box comes with a nice little carrying case, Sigmund carrying case. Inside the carrying case came the meter, of course, and the cable, which is a USB-C charge port for the charging of the meter itself. And you gotta plug that into a charge cube that everybody has laying around the home so they don't bother sending you another one to, to clutter up your, your junk drawer with. So you have cubes around to charge it, charge it fully after you receive it, which I have done. And it also comes with the manual, which you will need. There's a lot of information in there. It's fairly thick, but that's kind of intimidating because most of those are other languages. So your particular language, in this case, English that I need only takes up this much of the book. So not that thick, full of information though, useful, valuable information that you're going to need to learn the functions of this meter. So Let's do some close-ups here and show you some of the functions of the meter and how to use it. All right, so here's a close-up of the meter. Push that center button to turn it on. And it starts out with the distance measuring. And then you can select the proper orientation or the benchmark for the meter, be it center measurement. You can do bilateral measurements, so center measurement. You can have it oriented left or right and from the front or back of the meter. So here's the basic functions that, it, that the instrument is capable of. Length, as we mentioned. Area, you can measure the area of a room. So it'll do length times width and give you that square footage measurement. And speaking of square footage, you can select any 
kind of uh, measurement you'd like to see, feet and inches, meters to certain dis decimal places and, and uh, you can also select feet and inches with the increments of 5 sixteenths and so on instead of the decimal place. So lots of options there. Length, area as I've, measured, as I've mentioned, volume, you can also do length times width times height to get the volume of an object. Wall area, so you can measure your walls. It'll total the square footage or square whatever you're using meters of your wall space. It also does angle and height measurements. So it'll do indirect height measurements, hypotenuse measurement, double indirect height measurements using angles, auxiliary height measurement. Those functions are a little more complicated to use. So let's just stick for, the, for this review. Let's stick with the length and area measurements. So let's go to the length. If we want to measure the distance between this miter box and the sigmund box, we will select on the meter the orientation to be from the back of the meter to this side. So right now, looking at it, we're going to measure from the back of the meter over to the miter box. So you simply Put the back of the meter against that, shooting over to the miter box, hit your measurement, activate it, and there it tells you one foot three inches between the two. So that would be from the back of the meter. Then there's the bilateral measurement which is awful handy so you can set it anywhere in the middle here. There's the bilateral measurement. So between here, you can set it between the two objects. Again, push the button. Push it again. One foot four inches between the box and the miter box. You can also do continuous so that you can find your center point. So to do that, you want to push and hold the button. And now it's doing a constant measurement. And what it'll do is it'll tell you when you're at center because it tells you what's on either side of the center point. So now we go one way. We've still got the one foot, three inches or four inches. It's not, if I don't have these parallel, it can, it's going to vary a little bit. And you can see it's a long beep. And when I'm dead center between them, it chirps rapidly. There it is, right dead center between these two objects. You can mark it and you're done. Length times dip depth or length times width times depth for a cubic measurement of a room. So you would push it once, you'd select that function. So you have to go to your functions. And you have to select the proper function that you're desiring here. So there's square footage or square, square uh, area of a room and there's cubes. So you would push that, you would put it lengthwise across the room, take your measurement. You'd put it widthwise across the room, take your measurement. And then you would also do the height of the room. Press it, take your measurement, and it would total all that up into your cubic meters of that room or any object that you might want the cubic meter reading of or measurement of. Also, here's another important one. Here is a level. So as you see now, I'll tip it up towards the camera. We're level. So there's a level plumb, plumb ball on it. Lift it up a little bit. Oh, you go yellow, you go yellow, and you're way off. You're over a half a bubble off plumb here. <laughs> so back down, and you're level. It also has a magnetic back, so you can stick it onto a metal object and hold it in place so that you don't have to. And as you might have noticed while I was turning the meter around and around, it has a rotating screen and you can lock that in the proper position that you're after. So the instrument supports the automatic rotating screen. You long press on the right orientation button to lock the direction in, of the screen and the screen will display a lock icon on it. And then you press the other button to cancel the screen direction lock. So you can lock that screen into whatever orientation you want. 
you spin it that way or that way and as you see either way gives you your level ball there so again a little off plum green or plum a little off plum again and it'll also show you the angles as well and those angle measurements i'm not going to get into those for you but it'll do the opposite the adjacent and the hypotenuse take those readings and it'll to calculate the height of a wall so it'll also give you an accurate reading of the angle here so as you lift it up it'll show you the angle that you're lifting that meter up at so there you have it when you're done with the meter of course you can just do a long press on the off button and it, and it will shut off and it also has an auto shut off after a few minutes of inaction so thanks for watching this review video i can't tell you how thrilled i am to have this meter now in my toolbox i can see an early retirement for this guy so before you go i'd like you to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i know you're going to want one of these meters so you go to the description here and you're going to find a link to the product as well as a discount code to use on my behalf and get your own Sigmund CD60 Laser Bilateral Distance Meter. Thanks for watching. Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and we'll see you in the next one.